Finishing today's show with yet another update in the Brian Koberger saga. Student and employment records were released from the accused quadruple killer school district where he worked as a security guard up until just two years ago. According to the documents, Koberger's security supervisor at Pleasant Valley School District in Pennsylvania considered him to be reserved, courteous, polite, and even reliable. Koberger graduated from that same district in 2013. In 2018, he was even credited with helping save the life of a staff member having a medical emergency. As part of the job, Koberger would report unarmed to the district to work eight-hour security shifts on the weekend, making sure all school buildings were locked and in working order. Records show that he resigned from the position in 2021 after working there for five years. Koberger wrote in his resignation letter that he decided to leave, quote, freely and voluntarily after considering his options. Since Koberger's arrest, Koberger's alma mater, DeSales University, released a statement, but his Pennsylvania school district has remained silent. All of their requested records were from a court-ordered subpoena, but it's unclear whether the prosecution or the defense requested them. This all due to a gag order that has been put in place by the judge. So, Brian, why would either side want these high school records? They're almost a decade old. So, Jesse, they're either going to be a window into who Koberger is and was, if it's the prosecution saying, hey, look, he was quiet and reserved and he was exactly what we would think the type of person, or they may even go even further, the type of animal would do this type of quadruple murder. Or for the defense, they would say, hey, this is completely out of character. Look, he saved someone's life. He was always about security, was always about taking care of people around him. Who they are trying to portray Brian Koberger isn't who he is based on his history. Maybe they got the wrong guy. I think it's going to come down to some level of character or relevance based on the crimes and either side will have their pick as to whether or not it helps or hurts them. But if it hurts more than it helps, they may both want to try to stay away from any kind of character evidence in this case. Let me throw another theory out here because I think that they want the records of him at least as a security guard to say, listen, this is a guy who knew how to, you know, check all the perimeters, see all the security, track his steps. You know, this is somebody you might be saying if he was really stalking the victims, he, we can kind of understand how he learned this. I mean, he was really working there the year before this happened. That's my take on maybe they want to know his actions as a security guard. Still think it's a little bit of a stretch, but hey, that's yeah. my take. So, Terry, I'll move to you. The district didn't release all of the records on Koberger. Why wouldn't they do that? You know, I think they're playing it safe. First of all, there is a federal law. It's called the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. And what that does, it protects school records. Now, remember, he was working at the school district, but he was also a student at the school district. So just think about your records from school. You need to get permission before those records are released. And that's what the school district wanted to do. They wanted to send a notice, even though he was in jail at the time, to get those records released. So they went through that process. They thought it was important to do that. The other issue, as far as the employment records are concerned, they cannot release everything. Think about it. Name, rank, and serial number is generally what you're going to get as far as employment records are concerned. They cannot in any way, shape, or form give any sort of non-criminal investigation, especially if it didn't end up in resulting in some issue as far as the employee is concerned. And so they're not going to release all of that either. What they did release, I think both you and Brian are right. They can use it for or yeah. against him. Just, you know, learning the backstory of Brian Koberger. Brian, Terry, thank you so much. Everyone out there, thanks for joining us here on The Daily. We're going to see you next time as we discuss justice in America.